There you are guys, just gave the colony a bit of a brood boost today. Yeah, looks like they're getting straight to work. Moving them around, I just literally dropped them in. Oh, probably not even a minute ago. And um, yeah, they're going pretty nuts. Already starting to move them around. Put them where they need to, so. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Looks like they've um, almost accepted them already. Can't see them ripping any of them apart. Just looks like they're moving them like normal. So yeah, a bit of a brood boost for the colony. Got some real big uh, larvae down here. Looks like they've just called a few more workers to give them a hand. Yeah, definitely getting busy in there now, so. Keep you guys updated and um, hopefully all goes well. All right, cool lads. So I think it's been or oh, just under 24 hours um, since I brew boosted at the back there. Um, yeah, so obviously you would have seen in the video a couple of seconds ago, they were going pretty crazy. So yeah, they were going pretty crazy. So I just sort of wanted to let them go for a decent 24 hours, um, let them settle down and get the best chance to um, Except the brood um, for what they were so um, essentially brood boosting for people that don't know um, what you need to do is what you need to do is find a exactly the same size colony oh sorry same species colony um, as your own so this is Mimesia priformis um, colony so what I did and I found another Mimesia priformis colony in the wild um, and you can carefully uh, extract a bit of larvae from them uh, in the wild and, and uh, sort of put them in your own colony. Um, yeah, so what happens is they pretty much accept it as their own um, in the larvae stage. Um, I've heard uh, rumours about putting pupae in that it's not a good idea. Uh, the pupae can hatch and still smell like the, um, the old colony they came from. So pretty much get killed instantly. Um, other than that, with the larvae, you want to try and get smaller larvae, not the larger ones, um, for the same reason. They could be in there long enough to smell too much like the other colony. Um, and also, you don't want to take you know, heaps of it as well, because you obviously want the uh, wild colony to survive uh, the way they are. So the colony I got it from had absolutely hundreds of larvae. Um, I, as you saw in the video before, I didn't really take that much. Just a bit of a boost for myself uh, to boost my colony up, which is, you know, pretty easy, easy done. Uh, if you know what you're doing, you just uh, be careful not to get stung. Um, I'd recommend have a friend with you as well. Um, yeah, so these two larvae down here are actually mine. So these ones haven't been rejected. Um, they're actually my larvae that was already existing in, in here with them. I'm really hoping they're about to go to the pupae stage. As you can see, they're pretty decent size. Oh, that's my thumb there. Pretty decent size uh, larvae. So, yeah, it is a little bit troubling why they've put them over here in the rubbish pile. You can obviously see the rubbish pile here. I really hope they haven't abandoned them or something's wrong with them. Um, yeah, we'll just have to check on them another day and maybe they are getting to the pupae stage, hopefully. They look pretty big. Um, yeah, so shoot you around the nest a bit, see what's going on. A few workers out and about collecting a few things. Um, I boosted up their, obviously their protein a little bit more, adding a few more crickets, mealworms and things like that, obviously, because I've got more larvae in there now. Um, I haven't checked the nest over here for about, like I said, just under 24 hours. Um, yeah, so what you see in a minute is pretty much what I'm going to see for the first time. I'm actually um, building a nice uh, PDF board um, to put on the side there. Uh, instead of this bloody yucky cardboard, I'm just sort of trying to get around to it. Um, with some Velcro tabs on there and stuff. I also bought another... Another nice sort of heat mat um, from eBay that will sort of go along the bottom of the board down there so I don't have to have these 
sort of yucky sort of strips hanging off it looks a bit yeah i don't know just doesn't look the best i want it to look a bit a little bit neater than that yeah cool all right so Chase going on there, no, she just wants a drink. That cricket's in dangerous water, in hot water. All right, let's have a look in here and see what these larvae are doing. All right, so it looks like a good sign. You would have saw in the last video, I dropped them all down here. Um, they must be on the other side of the tank because uh, I can't see them out in the outworld, so they definitely haven't been abandoned. Uh, the two larvae that I showed you earlier down in the corner came from this down in here specifically. Um, I can tell that because there's a few missing there. Remember, these are the biggest ones, so they've obviously taken two of them out and put them down the back, so I'm really hoping they're uh, at the pupae stage. Um, then you've got sort of a bit more medium ones here. They move up here. And another sort of really big one there, so... Got a few sort of medium and large down here, hopefully ready to get to pupae st stage soon. Uh, I'll move the tank for you and let's have a look down here and see what they've done with the larvae. Alright, cool, so coming around the back here, um, things are looking extremely good. Looks like they have uh, accepted all of them. I've got two very large sort of piles of um, larvae now, which is really exciting. Uh, these ones here even look like they're getting a bit bigger. Um, on the end there Yeah, so that's really really good um, Looks like yeah I reckon if I had to guess It would probably be these in here that I've Extracted because they look oh no even if you come down here still finding more Down in a pocket down there. What have they got there looks like a cricket Yeah, sure is. Got a cricket down there, so fantastic sign, obviously. Uh, they're getting fed, um, and if they're getting fed, then they're definitely being, definitely being accepted. Uh, that's, that's really, really good news. Yeah, so that's a really big one there as well. There we go. Yeah, decent size. So, yeah, really happy about that. Oh, yeah, even the little smaller ones there. Um, that looks like, oops, sorry, yeah, so moving around, so it looks like that larvae there might be deceased, that colour uh, doesn't look too good, so we'll check that in a few days, see if they bring it out to the outworld, um, and onto the rubbish pile, but other than that, they actually all look really nice and white, um, and healthy, and they look, yeah, nice and damp and things like that being cared for so that's definitely successful um brood boost there so happy days i think i might have to expand this big nest um in a few years time we'll see how we go i wouldn't mind some sort of opinions on possibly how to do it or um you know what are your thoughts on how to expand maybe add another tank on the on the other side and i don't know maybe a bridge or something connecting both of them would be pretty cool um yeah so and also tell me what you think uh, about the larvae oh where are we going about the larvae out here like i said um there always seems to be bull ants around them um hopefully they haven't been abandoned i'm just a little concerned while they've brought them over here to the rubbish pile because uh, that's probably the biggest one I have right there as you can see pretty decent size almost about the same size as the ant uh, if it was stretched out so hopefully there's nothing wrong with it um, and they know what they're doing obviously so that's good news so I'll um, pretty much end this video uh, what I'll do is I'll find the queen for you and we'll end it on a bit of a queen note so i'm just going to pause it i'll find her for you um get a bit of a recording of her walking around let's see what she's up to just found something really wicked as well you can see that the egg um in that um mamisi's mouth so obviously the queen's hatching um unfertile eggs to feed the larvae it's another source of their protein uh so that's fantastic to see as well uh, let me try and get a 
Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Yeah, it's really, really good. Because uh, sometimes, often, I think, oh, you know, am I underfeeding them, overfeeding them? But I uh, forget they can look after themselves half the time. So just pretty much sit back and enjoy the show, really. Cool. Yeah, there's a bit of rare footage there, I reckon. Cool, so um, let me go find the queen and, yeah, we'll end, end the video on that, I think. Cool, here she is. walk around she gets a bit camera shy sometimes so we won't film her for too long but um yeah there she is doing well she's gonna go back that way yeah she really doesn't like the light so here we go there's the queen as well doing well so she must be laying eggs as well to help feed the larvae which is um really awesome to see um yeah great sign great sign so no worries hope you enjoyed um uh, and i'll keep you updated soon with any sort of new news that I get and things like that and um, we'll check on these uh, larvae in a few few weeks maybe months time see how they're going and uh, we'll go from there all right thank you